What you under here, there's truly no way back. Someone actually saved over their uh, uh, previous save. Uh, their, uh, their, uh, still, uh, uh, their still useful save file and got screwed. So, yeah, Portal to Celestial Realm. I'll make sure to do a separate save. I already made several backup saves anyway, so I should be fine. No, no, Malvicus, what have you done? This is a Celestial Realm? We must hurry, he must be stopped. You're still my party, right? All who enter the Celestial Realm shall find perfect health in attunement. That's a healing monument, huh? Okay, when is the boss event trigger, though? Okay, yeah, it looks pretty bad. What the heck is... Was there supposed to be a cutscene? Yeah, there was, but I missed it. Seriously. You should put your cutscene on the one tile right between the pillar bases so that you, the player cannot miss it. Rokob, how could he do this? He's killing my family! There's the last Great Gaius book. Even if the fires of Vogel, even the fires of Vogel couldn't stop him, how powerful has he become? A god killing gods. I don't know what to say. Say what we must. Uh, say that we must stop him. Okay, up there is the final one. Healing waters of Porphos. Gah. Last chance to eat a bunch of food. Mother! She was only just released from Adzantial's Sanctum. How cruel and unfair to meet at such an end. That's right, We she turned to the Pale Knight, but we freed her, but now she's dead again. Shit. My mother, our father, how could you? It was easy, dear sister, and now that you are here, my vengeance shall finally be complete. We will stop you. Don't make me laugh. If the mighty Porphos couldn't stop me, what makes you think you can? Because we are the children of light. We have come to fulfill a prophecy and put an end to what has began so long ago. Do not forget, mortal, I am the father of man, and now I am lord of the celestial realm. Not yet. Come then, warriors, souls of the great Gaius. Pit, pit your prophecy against the will of a god. <sighs> not gonna like this spell, that's for sure. This is completely ridiculous, isn't it? What? See, what's Event Horizon? I didn't see that last time I failed. And the animation is hella long. It didn't work. Hitting me? A time like this? I can't even get my turn fast enough for this shit, anyways. Oh man. I need a reincarnation, everyone. Some of the shit just seems completely ridiculous. And I'm zombie fight on everyone too, so yeah, gotta use reincarnation. Good.
resist him, he resists everything. The problem is if the... It, I can't move fast enough at all. I just can't. I don't see a way to win this unless I can successfully steal his speed right from the get-go. Might be too late already. I have to keep spamming reincarnation and shit. But I don't even know if I'm fast enough for that. He just one-shots me every turn. Like, what kind of boss design is this? Well, he is a god, but still, it feels like they expect me to... It feels like they practically expect me to be using, like, stat-boosting potions, but even that, that might not save me. This is ridiculous. I, I can't do it. I'm just gonna lower your reflex so you can't dodge my shit. I need faster party members, too. I'm completely relying on reincarnation to win this. What the fuck? Hey, some people did not use up the revive yet. That that's actually good. Because that means we won't get delayed as much. And I hate being delayed, you know that much, huh? Yeah. I guess debuffing his magic might have helped a little bit in that regard. I also need to make sure she can keep casting it. Tim. I'm not sure if her speed will be good enough for this. We're not zombie fight right now, so should I... Might as well just use a... Mega Elixir. Oh, if I can even find my shit anymore. I don't know if I can win this. Even with all those debuffs, arg. Fuck this boss so much. I'm just doing like very minimal damage because of his stupid resistances. This resist everything gimmick, like why? Why does it have to exist? didn't kill us right away.
Having two debuffers does help a little bit. Yes. What's this divine intervention? What's how good is it? How much does it protect me? Be transparent. Blessing of Tanalasia. Will this protect against even his attacks? It did. It did protect me to some extent. Huh. That might be. That might help me. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I just got some evil. His speed didn't get sundered all that much. Shit. Vulnerable. Temporarily resisting all his bullshit, huh? We still got revive, right? Just checking. Everyone is good for one revive. See what nasty little potions I have. Right, unequipped traveler's cloak. Also, I should put on some something to help me here. What else do I need to send her? Speed. work. Even that does not have a 100% proc, huh? Is he just stalling for time and not wasting energy because of my shields? Yikes. That's a single target, right? But it's no use, at least right now. Hmm. This evasion might go back up soon. Not good. I just realized I probably should have brought Bruger because his gauntlet would allow him to deal bonus damage at low hit points, huh? Yeah. Should have, probably should have done that.
Damn, she's doing such pitiful damage that. Ugh. Fuck. Word of God is a real killer, huh? Good, we still have our revives. But we lost our invincibility. Divine Intervention, how does that work? Oh, it's a bubble type shield. What? It, it worked? Sort of, I, I guess? I guess it prevented Ragnarok from completely slaughtering us. Somehow. I'm almost out of full thunder. I need to go get his. Where is it? Hmm, attack. We're probably gonna die soon, so let's steal his armor. Okay, that worked. We still got our revives on, so prayer. I should have set this on super speed mode. This is kind of slow. And tedious, huh? Please hit! Okay, good. Good, good. Excellent. We can keep up this- uh, we can keep up this battle of fucking attrition. Here comes the nuke! How the hell did Agramek keep his buffs? Did he dodge it somehow? Damn it, she didn't have more AP back! What? No. Oh, sh no, it's good enough. She just needs 50 for reincarnation. Okay, good. I was scared of her. Speed, speed, speed. This is going to take all my life. Good, we got reincarnation back. Yes, we're gonna beat you with the power of Isekai. Oh no, he zombie fight us. Well, we're gonna rely on reincarnation anyway, so... Yeah, bring on the Isekai memes. S 
So, okay, good. You got the main trifecta of stuff applied. <sighs> Can't heal, but I can try to apply a few buffs here and there. No healing, just other sh everything except healing. What was Power Word kill? It removed all his buffs? What the hell was that? Yeah, it's a deep buff move. I need to have Elenia reapply it immediately. See, he's still pretty debuffed here, right? Where is it? Rebirth. You have it, you don't... Okay. Agramed, rebirth him. Nocturne, rebirth him. I don't know if Tim, this guy. At least make him neutral. Just how much hit points does he have, though? Like, if he's resist. He's probably resisting everything, including maybe light? I don't know, actually. Can this guy actually resist light? Shit. Yes, he resists light. Of course, he does. So you'll shout. We gotta have pots on re pots and that status effect again. Uh. Why is he using single targets though? That is weird. Is he feeling merciful? Yeah, right. Well, maybe he's saving on MP or something. Yeah, so that's probably why. Got my power back. Oh no, he's doing shit. Look at that fucking damage though. Am I still fast enough to deal with him?
Where's my false sunder? Ugh! Fuck, really? Okay. This is actually pretty bad. Okay, good. That takes care of that, but I still need to get full Sunder back up. Somehow. Not equipped Galhorn yet. Please hit. I need all the speed debuffs I can put on this fucker. Oh, come on. I already debuffed your evasion, dude. What more do you want? This is torture porn at this rate. Can I even kill this god? Slow got rebirth. You're only. Ch I should have made more stim packs. Fuck, he's lost it. Oh, this is pain. Please just turn this guy into slight. Oh no, fuck. Yes! Ha 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 Yes. Yes. We did it. We, s we have him decently debuffed again. Passing Galhorn would be, I feel like it would be pointless if he just <laughs> kills everyone again, forces us to revive. I'm glad he doesn't have a, a tactic to get around revive other than being obscenely fast. Rogue Cap actually has a good accuracy bonus. Actually, Rogue Cap is better for him than his than his legendary helm. Let's do that. Another instant death move, huh? Wow. 
Lainey, get back there. Oh no. Running out of debuffs. Reincarnation. Isekaius. I think he ran out of full sunder. Come on! This is getting real bullshitty. Ugh. We have auto life, but the stat debuffs. Well, the good thing about getting. Uh, 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 re auto revived is that we lose our debuffs. But still, I'm in a real bind. No. I can't keep up with this. I can't. It's impossible. I don't know what I can do anymore. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Works, I think. Yes. Fuck. Zombie fight, huh? Great. Yes, 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 good, good. I don't. Everyone's. Let me check all life. Yeah. Is there no way to... Uh, 
really sucks we have no means of scanning other than Elric. Because he's not that useful compared to other characters. Yeah, he's the only one who can scan. Puts me in a real bind. MP. Let's do it. Please activate. If I give him like a fuck, keep missing all the time. His base evasion must be through the rough if we're still missing him, huh? Pots dodged it somehow. I don't know how. Just gonna have to wait for him to kill us so we can lose the debuffs, huh? Oh no, we're dead. <sighs> this is so nerve-wracking. I'm gonna, like, use my entire hard drive just for this fight because of how long it is, huh? Yes. Healing. Reincarnation! Yes! No, it didn't pro it didn't actually proc. What the hell? How the hell did you dodge that pot? This steal his speed. Yes, it procs. Good. For once, 
It procced. Come on! Please don't spam that! Laney's gonna run out of MP at this rate! Damn! How does it keep failing to proc? I thought they said that he, his skills had a high chance to proc if they actually hit, but it, I'm not even sure that's true. Damn it. Who did he nuke now? Gargamed? He didn't use. He tried to use power word kill, but it didn't work. What's going on? Did some condition fail to be met or something? What? Did he run out of MP? No, this should have passive MP regen, right? I don't know what's going on anymore. Are his skills based on MP or AP? That's the question, huh? Anyways... Hmm. Still want to proc that on him if possible. Full Sunder! Okay, let's keep his speed down. That's the most important part. Otherwise, Laney will not be able to save everyone in time. It's 
literally destroying all of space, and Lainey is just just flexing on him with her revive spam. Yes. Seal a shout. I know it's probably not gonna hit, unless, unless maybe I use glasses. Yeah, why not? Oh, come on! Belkis is gonna is becoming useless here. Oh, I just hope he get, she can reincarnate fast enough. Damn it! Okay, good. That gives Belkis a chance to do some- actually do something. <laughs> Did, yes, it worked, finally! We're zombified, no healing. Just revives. Yes, I'm glad all life can counteract zomb- It works even when zombified, yeah. Yeah. Way too tanky. Basically, this would be impossible without Laney. It's just too cheap. Good, good, good. No!
We still got our auto life, so yeah. Don't care that we're all zombies right now. Just holy him in the face. Maybe it'll be the finishing blow. Who knows? Who did he- nuked Agramed. <laughs> I may just cut out the bell because it's basically just a giant loop of me trying to maintain all my- Debuffs and shit. Yeah, Rebirth, Agramed. I'm I'm gonna be very I'm gonna be uh no one hit point okay good Just didn't remove our re uh, our revives okay we still good we still good think about what stats I need to re okay I need to work on full sunder. Use healing, so I guess I'll just use this. It's not much, but it's something. It's a little bit of DPS. No, we're dead. Or, oh, he, why did he do it twice in a row? Weird AI. Whatever. I'll take it. Hmm. Just a little bit of holy... Or should I cast, cast Bless first? Oh crap, because he has regen, I'm not sure how it's going to affect his hit point. Oh, he doesn't have zombie fight, so he's fine. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Yes! Worked. Still got our... I'm paranoid that's gonna fall off somehow. Like, maybe he has a secret anti revive thingy going on, but he doesn't. Oh no. We're nuked. How much work can this guy take? He must have like a million hit points. Okay, still got full Sunder. Let's work on Sunder defense, yeah? 
It didn't work. No one's already got the reincarnation isekai stuff, so power. Yes, yeah, so that's gonna, totally going to be the title of my video. Winning with Isekai. Huh. Yes! In your face! Attack into front god! With the power of Isekai. You perfect morals. I can never fall. I am eternal. Shall we do battle for eternity, children of light? We just might, and I'm gonna run out of items if I keep this up. Asher's my dear brother. You'll go on when this is over. Elenia, what are you saying? No matter what happens, know that I love you. Laney? She's gonna sa she's gonna sacrifice her herself to deal with him somehow, right? I love you too, Potzellus, but it's time for, for me to let go. I must give myself over to Tantalasia completely if we are to defeat him. Elenia, no! No, Lane, you can't. Please, I've only just gotten you back. I need you. Now it's my turn to save you, my love. Laney! There you are, dear sister. You have, com you have committed the worst crime imaginable, brother. To slay the Celestials, our parents, is to go against the Elders themselves. Ha, the Elder Gods are a fairy tale told to stoke fear and obedience. Those archaic rules that establish and keep us prisoners here no are no more. Can you see your sister? I did this for us. For us, you do nothing less to benefit yourself, Malvicus. The archaic rules were not established to keep you in prison. They were meant to teach you compassion. Compassion? Where was your compassion when I was left all alone? Once you began creating your pets, you forgot the time we shared together. I loved you, and you abandoned me. He's sounding a little bit yandere. I never abandoned you, little brother. You're meant to create and nourish life, but your jealousy turned you against your own nature. You're, you're to learn patience and humility, but instead you forced your creations into subjugation and to follow the great Gaius. For us, I want it all for us. No, it was all for you. When you cast me out, I was so angry, so full of rage, I've never recovered from that pain. You became irredeemably wicked, but now it's time to right all wrongs. It's time to put end the pain. Into the unknown we now descend. Uh, do you guys just blow up the planet? How are we supposed to get back? I guess we're just gonna have to become the new gods. The globe, it's been destroyed. What can that mean for our home? The portal is still open, but it looks to be weakening. The way home remains, so we must hurry. Let's return to the portal. Elenia! Hurry, before the portal closes! Elenia made the ultimate sacrifice for us so we could live on. There's nothing more we can do. Please, let us return now. Ironic, this is the second time I've had to mourn for the loss of my sister. A cruel twist of fate. Come on, Potts. I can never return, Atreus. There's nothing left for me in your world. What do you mean, Potts? You cannot just stay here. You have an entire thief guild to take care of, too, you know? When I first started this journey, I thought I could find a way to deal with I did at Virgil's family. But now the only one who could have truly forgiven me is gone. Potts, you have done tremendous good in the world. Your debts have been paid, please. Nothing can strike this darkness from my soul. The soul of the great Vandal Rowan, and the countless other lives before that. I must make certain that no one will disturb their eternal battle. Knowing that your world is safe fills my heart with some semblance of peace while I watch over my beloved. Until the end of time. What? Potts is seriously staying here? Uh, are, can you even live that long? Because you're still immortal. Unless you somehow ascend into becoming the god of time. I will make sure our songs are written of your glory, Potts Talos. The world will know of your story. Farewell, Kalos Tangrelos. I did not foresee this, my son. I can't say I agree with it. But I respect your resolve, Potts Talos. You have come far since your ascension at Garamal. I couldn't have made this claim without you. Take care of yourself, old man. Oi, mate, they're never gonna believe we bashed a god's brain in. I'll miss you, Brugger. Take care of yourself. Potts, you are a brother to me. Please. Go now, my brother. Go and become the king you were meant to be. It's time, old friend. Come now, Potts. I cannot leave you here by yourself. Vine and Corrin need your help in the world below. Plus, you need to take over for the Thief Guild. Elenia would want to see you back in the home she loves so much, back where you belong. You've come a long way, Potstalos. 
Farewell, old friend. Yeah, once instead of killing them off once and for all, we end up se sealing Melviticus. So in a way, we we did end up per uh, perpetuating the cycle that he warned us of by only sealing the enemy. He's gonna be back someday, but will we be prepared? It took El we couldn't have won without Elenia's hex powers. Basically, seriously, that, the end of that battle is basically like the final boss of Seraphic Blue. Your white mage gains a bunch of abilities that would be considered. Absolutely OP in any other game, but absolutely mandatory for the final battle. Our friends gave the ultimate sacrifice to ensure our safety. I cannot help but feel a heavy pain in my heart. We have succeeded, Vine. Through Pots and Elenia have... Uh, though Pots and Elenia have remained in the Celestial Realm, they have ensured the god, a dark god is sealed eternally. There is no failure here. What you feel is lost. I don't know what comes next. Of course you do. You honor Pots. You honor my sister. You honor all those who fought to beat back the Validians. Of course I will honor them, but how? By taking your place, your rightful place as the leader of this country, Vine of House Graham. I've already helped install one rightful monarch, Vine. It's up to you and Corn to make this kingdom the best it can be. You will go back to Amnor then? Corn will need my help to bring the Stone City back to its former glory. The Babador's defilement will take time to remedy. Kalos Tangrelos. Seriously, that must have taken even long- I would, How long would that take compared to Azale from Eternal Twilight? Your resolve remains as strong as Arthur's vine. The Children of Light have brought the two great elven houses together once again. He succeeded even where Arthur failed, convincing my father to see the error of his ways. He now walks with the father and his brothers. It will take some time to bridge the two families once again, especially with no Lorak and Solstice. Kalos Tangrelos, your efforts on behalf of our people will not go unnoticed. My brother Kale Vaili was the last war druid, the Lorik of Solstice. I see his wisdom lives on within you. It would honor us if you were to guide Solstice in the reunification of the two great houses as a new speaker. Lorak, you honor me. You would truly name me as the Lorak of the Solstari? Our bloodlines run back to Father Azantiel. I would have no other beside me. A new era begins with a newfound peace between our people, Lorak Tangrelos. I would not be risen a speaker until a ceremony within the spire of the well whispering. Uh, wins. It is you who now must begin a new era, Vine. You will always have a friend in me. Hero of House Court Labar. Maybe we'll have hear him talk about Elgemas or something. Are you sure I cannot convince you to return home, Adele? Father, my place is here of Valdrick. After all we've been through, I promise not to stay away for long. Yes, please, my daughter. If not for me, then at least for your mother. Yes, Father, I promise. I love you, Adele. So I guess this is where we part ways, old friend. Just like old times. I will guard a western fold for you, Vine. For, for the realm. Take care of yourself, Master Graham. I know you will do the right thing, my king. Elric of House Yor. What lies ahead for you, my friend? I think I will finally return home. My father has truly been avenged. I couldn't have done it without Pots and you, Vine. I owe the Children of Light very much. You are one of us, Elric of House Yor. We couldn't have done it without you, my friend. Know your brave father watches over you. Farewell, Vine. Agramed Oslo. I return to the Osirian Empire with a new alliance between our people. The clan chiefs will know of what happened here, Vine. The Osirians are a proud and strong people, Agramed. We were lucky to have them as friends. 
I'll be waiting for another rematch, Agromed. Look me up when you feel up to it. Huh, you know where to find me, Brugger, son of Brogham. Belkis of House Swordhand. I know we've had our differences. Maybe one or two. I'm not the easiest person to get along with either. Uh-huh. You have truly proven yourself to me, Vine. If you do decide to take the throne of Graham, not how Swordhand will continue to honor or pledge to the royal family in perpetuity. Thank you, Belkis. No, Vine, thank you. Without you and the Children of Light, I would not be here. I would not have been able to avenge Arne and Jaman. You have you haven't always will be a children of the light as well, Lord Belkis. Farewell, Vine. Yeah, definitely cutting out a lot of that battle. It was just basically a loop. Basically a huge battle of attrition. The boss had no real phases. No, does not change behavior no matter how far you push them. Even on their very last legs, nuff, they have the exact same skill set in AI. What's that you've got there? What? I can clearly see at least six of mining apples in your breeches, Brueger. Boss, saving the world is hungry work. Don't tell Veldrake, mate. Pot's never told. What are you talking about? You could actually have, if you t depending on who you take the uh, have take the lead, anyone would see him stealing food. Heh, <laughs> no he didn't, did he? I'll miss him like a brother. And I suppose you as well. Did he just assume the player would pick Pots as their leader all the time? That's very kind of you, Brugger, heh. <laughs> they will welcome me back to Frosthammer as a hero. How do you like that, huh? A hero. Good luck, Brugger. Hawthorne Vias. Though unlike the air battle, the boss did not have any... Uh, 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 any... Uh, 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 does not have any phases, huh? I think air would actually pump up all her stats to ridiculous numbers at the very last leg of her fight, but then you get all... You at the same time gain the ability to nuke her from existence. Not here, though. In, instead, she, uh, Elenia sacrifices herself to seal him away. Serifia will take some t take time to, re to be restored to the Supreme Order it once was. I have confidence in you. With your help, the Circle will be whole again. You would think running a school would be a cakewalk next to the fighting celestial creatures and gods, huh? You will do fine, my friend. Why she always have such an evil look on her face? Huh? Maybe she'll she'll turn. Maybe she'll start learning Singularity and go on a rampage. Lady Stormcrow. Returning to Sorbithia seems surreal. With Pots gone, House Talos is all but lost. Our once great city has suffered terrible blows. You and your father will be able to rebuild a school in the city. We will do it together. Griswold of House Stormprey. Master Stormprey. I see great things coming in your future, Vine. You've come a long way since we met you at the Shrine of Tantalasia. It's good to know that you'll remain Sorbithia on the Circle of Twelve. Horus will need all the help he can get after the losses we have suffered recently. I'll do what I can to ensure a smooth transition to the younger generations. I'll miss you, Master Stormprey. Kalia Veili. Now, we never really got many cutscenes pertaining to their potential romance. So that was mostly focused on Potts and Laney, I feel like. Allow me to accompany you back home to Solstice, my lady. Fine, our time together has profoundly moved me. Though your land of brick and mortar is brutal and intimidating, I would want nothing more than to remain by your side, Vine of House Graham. My lady, your place is within your sacred grove, the Solstary Forest. My time with the Children of Light has shown me that there is much of the world I do not understand. My essence is eternal, Vine. For now, my heart wishes to be beside you. If that's your wish, my lady, I'd be honored to have you by my side. 
Vine of House Graham. Looking awfully smug there. I do hope you plan on returning this vessel to Dibbledorf, eh, Veldrake? You do realize I'm a smuggler, right? I'll make sure he returns it, Vine, don't worry. Thank you, my lady. Thank you for returning me to the capital, Veldrake. I expect I'll hear of your coronation soon, hmm? We shall see. Farewell, Vine. Farewell, Veldrake, Lady Jester. Be safe, Vine. Adele's of House Jester. What if you didn't fully recruit her? What if you just left her on the ship forever with no guns? Hmm, if she had a speed buff, I, I, she probably would have been a good choice for the final battle as well. What do you say, Captain Denmark? You up to dropping us off on my sh uh, ship on the way back to Dibbledorf? Whoa, whoa, hold your horses. I heard you say something about smugglers earlier. Oh, no, no, don't worry yourself, my friend. We'll keep our words to the new king, huh? Besides, our ship is kind of parked at Dibbledorf. Bolex, you want me to return to old Dibbledorf? Have you ever heard of a Sky Pirate? Could be an interesting venture. What? He's joining you? I see. You've got to be kidding me. Seriously, uh, I seriously thought Valdrick was going to reclaim his ship and maybe just save up for a proper airship later on. I like your style, Captain. I see a lucrative partnership in our future. Ha. Huh. Ha ha. Sigh. Producer Alvar Swan and Brian Swan. Swan is also that one boss. The, the tough one I had to defeat to get Vandar's equipment. Though there are no historical records of your birth, there are certain coincidences that cannot be ignored, including the scarab within your possession. My lord, you saved me from Samuel in the depths of my castle, and saved my country. There's no one else I would rather see sitting on the throne of Graham. When there was no one to lead the fray against the Validians, Vine and his companions were able to rally the kingdoms against a common enemy. Such a feat is not easily achieved or executed. Orgar stands be behind Vine's ascension to the throne. Hey, there's even the, uh, a Validian general, Marcus Agrippa. If we started as enemies, the Validians now pledge their fealty to Vine Graham and support his claim to, uh, of the Kingdom of Graham. We will, formal, we will formally join the kingdoms of the New World with the appointment of Vine as King of Graham. Together we can forge an even stronger bond than before. It's time to rebuild. We will send couriers across the realm to all corners of the waking world. Vine of House Graham, first of his name, will be crowned King of the newly formed Six, Nation, Six Nations of Fortnite. The Kingdoms of Graham for King Vine. Long may he reign. Long may he reign. And it's gonna be a long time since he's got elven blood. You think they will come? I don't think they'd miss it for the world. The entire party will probably at least show up for his coronation, huh? It's almost surreal sitting on the fr stone front of Aminor. I couldn't have done it without you, my friend. The Babadors and the Vaffins got what they deserved. My part was easy. Yours, not so much. Heh. <laughs> we'll rebuild our forest country. It'll take time, but nothing is beyond our grasp now. Well, well, seems that Goldilocks has made quite the ruckus in the capital. You shouldn't call him that, huh? He will be king soon. That's just it. That's just it, my good king. Vine is to be coordinated in a fortnight. I knew he had it in him. The people will sing joyous songs of your governance, Kalos Tangrelis. It seems my choice was a good one. You bring honor to this great house, Lorak, a white speaker you will be. Your words honor me, elders. I just hope to bring peace to our sacred groves. Our ancestors smile upon us. You have made this old heart proud, son. Your heroism during the tour of Valdis has reached the ears of all the lords and ladies of the realm, hero. Just know that even though you are born of one of the great houses of Sovereign, this decree comes from your own valor and merit, not birthright. Thank you, General Jastar. 
Hero of House Corlebar, you have been deemed fit for the highest estate by your peers and have indicated you will accept honor from our hands. Those sworn to protect Sovereign united by the grace of High Lord Victor Breezel. Do you now swear by the gods and all that you hold sacred that you will honor and defend the crown and Sovereign united? I do. That you will honor, defend, and protect all those weaker than yourself? I will. That you will conduct yourself in all ma matters as we spits the night, drawing your sword only for a just cause? I will. That you will enshrine in your heart the noble ideals of chivalry to the benefit of your own good name and the greater glory of Sovereign United? I will. He seems to be getting bored of the, lo uh, the long drawn out uh, 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 rights. And having sworn these solemn oaths before we, the keepers, keepers of Sovereign, by right of arms, in the name of High Lord Victor Breezel, we do dub you of our swords by all that you hold sacred and true. Honestly, I wish more had been done with Hero's character. I feel like we could have explored the relationship between the, uh, 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 the uh, between the descendants of, of Court Labar and Eldramus. Arise, Sir Hero of House Court Labar. This day, I do render homage and fealty to the High Lord of Sovereign United, who will from this day forward be my liege lord. I will remain true to him in all ways, serving faithfully. This I swear by all the gods until my dying day. We accept your homage and fealty, Sir Hero. You will take command of the upper battlements of Cardinoff across the western fold, replacing our fallen battlemaster. I will not leave you down, my lords. Before returning to the upper battlements, however, you are needed in the capital within a fortnight. My lord? The new king of Graham has requested you personally to attend coronation. New king will all be. I return, father. I brought the oath for the rest again in its rightful place. My pleasure has been fulfilled. You can finally rest in peace. You know, I just might reload the final battle just once, just to see what the stats are like. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. I'll screenshot the stats and and use Stia screen to make them cut public. Yeah. Agarman, thank you very much for uh, taking back your former position as Blood General. The entirety of the Osirian Empire owes you a gratitude. Together we will lead our people to a new age of prosperity. Thank you for coming to my, my aid, Agramed. I would never forget you, old friend. Your honor is intact. I'm only sorry you had to spend years in the gladiator pits in, on my account. Nonsense, General. I would give my life for you. A new High Chieftain will have to be appointed. There could be a power struggle. Perhaps a tournament, as it was decided during the days of, days of old. The new Kingdom of Graham has offered assistance in keeping the peace as the transition happens here in Osiris. Speaking of the Southerners, word came from... For you from Graham, Blood General, your presence is requested in the capital. These statues will honor Arne and Jemen for generations, though the sculptor got Jemen's face a bit wrong. My lord, the Arson said he followed your instructions quite explicitly. Jemen was quite the opish brute. I was hoping they would encapsulate his dim-witted expression a bit better. Oh Lord, Balkis. They were good men, loyal men. They certainly were, Lord Balkis. They were good friends. Brugger, son of Brogham, you return to us a hero. You have brought great honor to your ancestors. You honor me, High Fane. What can we do for you, my dear friend? Can I speak freely or faintness? Of course, anything you need, my friend. 762. What's that you said, Brugger? 762. I'm not following you, Brugger. What's this number? 762 steps to climb from the gates of Frosthammer to the Hall of Fanes. What? I've climbed to the top of a bloody ziggurat in the Kaisal jungle, marched across the stinking bloody lands themselves, even swam under a bloody volcano underwater with a briefing device from fish people, all to be defeated by the mighty steps of Frosthammer. Hi, Fane. I'm sorry, but I had this whole speech prepared about the ancestral home, but now, ugh. I'm just so bloody hungry from climbing all of those damn steps. Haha! <laughs> A feast! Let the halls ring with our praise and admiration for Brugger, hero of Frosthammer. A feast! I'm home. Two portrait artists. Is, they, is that why there seems to be two different styles? The Children of Light's prophecy has been fulfilled. All is right with the world. There is much left to do, including rebuilding this council. 
And hoping we don't have any more spies. That that hood guy's looking real sus. As well as figuring out what to do with the Keystone of Grindelwald, now the Celestial Realm has been sealed. The towers could be utilized once again to seal the pieces. Our friends gave it a noble sacrifice to ensure our safety. The past could be repeated if we are not careful. We must do better than our predecessor. Soon this council will be governed by you and the next generations will need guidance. It is now that we must solidify our resolve and build a better future. Wise words, Fire. We must do better and see more clearly. The Circle of Twelve must help usher into a new era of leadership and resolve during the transition of the new king. We owe Vine our lives, Fury, and now our allegiance. The new king will need all the help he can get. And he will have it. Chief Odrin, you have brought peace to the plains of Zardon, Valdrake, son of Helen. The elders owe you much to you. Chief Odrin, the journey has been long, but we couldn't uh, help stopping here to see if it was alright. I can tell it's still uneasy for you to be here among your people. The elders are, are happy you asked us to join you w with your wife in matrimony. Thank you, Chief Odrin. I'm sure my father is proud that I took the vows in the lands of our ancestors. However, say no more, Valdrick, son of Helen. I can tell you wish to continue on that flying machine of yours. Please give on our regards to the new king. Go to the urban mother, Valdrick. The plainsmen will welcome you when you return. Hey, darling. Are you ready to go yet? Come now, my uh, my sweet. The airship awaits us, my lovely lovely navigator. I think the proper title is wife now. Of course, my love. Let us hit the skies. There, the skies. There's so much to see. Huh. All background, Simon Frost. Today we are guard for the coronation of Vine of House Graham, first of his name. As the Keeper of Magic, it is my duty to ensure the safety of the realm in a time where the throne of Graham is vacant. The throne has now held no contest of Vine's claim. Is there any of you, Lord or Lady, High Lord or King, that wishes to contest Vine's claim to the throne? Vine of House Graham, King of Graham and Lord Protector of the Six Nations of Men, I hereby proclaim you to be the rightful heir to the throne of Graham. Long may he reign. Long may he reign. Rest of the credits, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're also... I think they're, the developers are working on a new game in the same universe called Galahorn. The same name as Agramed's purple accessory. So, yeah, if it weren't for re, for Rebirth taking away all my, all my buffs and debuffs, it would have been pretty useful in the final battle to ensure that Belkis can... Keep up his uh, his own uh, uh, sunder spams. I think in Nocturne Rebirth, re uh, the 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 Phoenix Feather accessory will allow you to keep your uh, buffs when uh, whenever you're re revived, which is uh, which actually uh, which is pretty much necessary for the bonus bosses. Yeah. A uh, long battle, but still, in a way, easier than air due to how formulaic it is. It's, all you have to do is keep, at least keep up the speed debuff, and you'll be able, uh, and uh, Lainey will be able to barely cast that in time. Based on the Tenat campaign setting. I wonder, is there informa more information about ten the Tenet campaign online? I should go Google it s or s uh, right now. Uh. 
don't really see anything except for a few links to the world map. Which I think should be displayed in the g game as a mini-map so that it's easier to find your way. The end. I wonder if I... If I tried to ditch Laney at the battle against Malter to, in order to get the normal ending, would he be nerfed to, to account for not being able to use Laney's OP stuff? Hmm. Okay, I got that wrong. It should have been Tensei, not Isekai. Isekai's when going, you're going to another world, though we are technically entering the Celestial Realm. No, instead, uh, yeah, Tensei's reincarnation, which we spammed just to survive all of those ridiculous one-hit kill attacks. I wonder, if you had pumped up your stats using that, uh, using the arena, would you be able to win without Laney? I highly doubt it. I mean, some of his attacks still dealt, like, quintuple digits. I'm pretty sure... E e I'm pretty sure we'd love, maybe we'll allow you to survive some of his weaker attacks, but not, definitely not the ones that deal five digits. For a game itself, story-wise it was alright. Some things I thought that could have been expanded on more like uh, the Corlebar family's relationship to Eldramus. Maybe expand more on the potential ro romance between Vine and... Uh, Kaylee uh, and Kalia and then uh, uh, and Valdrake and Adele. Also, so, yeah, some plot points do come off as kind of weird too. Like how uh, the Goth were way too trusting of Virgil, even though a, a lot of them mysteriously disappear whenever he's around them. Like that would be a huge red flag. If I saw that happening, I would have him eliminated before he could do any more damage. Anyways, I'm not gonna uh, go do the normal ending. I'll just post a, I'll just post a link to it because someone else already did the normal ending on their own Let's Play. I think he was called The Last Life. Yeah, I'm gonna use the card system that YouTube has. Combat-wise, yeah, I, I'm, I recommend playing normal or easy, just so you don't have to uh, pray to the RNG as much. I only did core rules for bragging rights, but... It's, yeah, the, the accuracy... Uh, <laughs> the accuracy issues that you have to worry about, even when buffing your own accuracy, can really drag out the battles a lot longer than they should. And... A lot of times you're kind of relying on proccing the debuffs too. So yeah, I might want to just go with normal for a for a moderate challenge. Plus, I heard the MP issues are not quite uh, as drastic, though. Even then, as long as you can get to a point where you can farm MP, MP healing items, the MP the MP issues are not that bad. It's just an extra turn to, to chug a MP potion. I did hear that the other difficulties allow you to retain your AP, which would be a lo lot more useful for the physical attackers so they can start off at full steam each battle. So, well, my least favorite part of the game, definitely the new city. That one wasn't even... Uh, uh, yeah, it's in, we're not like recruiting unique NPCs or anything, we're just quickly entering and exiting the bar just to find the one NPC that a type that we do need. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely could have d uh, handled that one better. <sighs> also, as for the uh, as for the level up system, I, they did make it easy to level up at the end of the game, but in the middle, you really uh, you're gonna have to spend a lot of time trying to grind everyone evenly because the story will pretty much force you to use them eventually. Yeah, you want to get the Celestium Sword as soon as you can, so you can make the grinding process easier. Otherwise, it's pretty much impossible to kill the later crystal monsters without the Celestium Sword. 
since he wouldn't, it'd be too, unless you were on an easier difficulty, in which case you'd be able to maintain, uh, you'd be able to keep the AP needed to use last rate on the first turn. Yeah, it really would be nice if they did set the, up some kind of half experience system for inactive party members, just so that they aren't totally screwed uh, by uh, 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 screwed. And, yeah, I think it would be kind of necessary since some characters are like bloomers, and some characters do end up way less useful than others. Like, I wouldn't use Elric over Agramed at all. Since Agramed can group buff, even if Elric is somewhat faster and can handle uh, stats like accuracy. Yeah, plus, <laughs> Lainey just ends up, like, Way better than Griswold in almost every, uh, in pretty much everything except for defense. I feel like, even though she doesn't get any purple gear, her her move set is just too valuable to use. Like you're probably not gonna bring Griswold is pretty much a pl placeholder for her until you can get her back. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, Though I do uh, I think it's pretty good how- uh, the, I do like how the battle system does emphasize buffs and debuffs, but even still, even with f full accuracy buffs and debuffs, it does feel like there is a lot of RNG in trying to proc your stuff. Yeah. Anyway, so that's it for this uh, Let's Play of the Great Gaius. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, maybe try it out for yourself.